Cancel all access you may have between you and France. If any participant has access, everyone in the war does. What? So we get diplomats, uh, another leader, and national focus cooldown. National focus cooldown. Oh. That's, um... That's... What is that? That's this thing. These things. Right? But we get another idea group. Okay. So, I'm thinking about... Where is... Expansion, there we go. Because they'll give us another colonist. What do we get for this? Against less advanced nations in Asia and Africa. Huh. Oh, it's 25 years of separatism. So minus 10 from humanist, minus 5 from liberation policy. Okay. Uh, I mean, what else could we do, though? I don't, maritime ideas may not be the word. Well, well, actually, there's maritime ideas, then there's naval. Naval leader shock. Galley combat. I don't even have galleys. Naval leader fire. Prestige. Maintenance modifier. Heavy ship combat ability plus 20%. That's kind of cool. Oak forests for ships. Superior seaman ship. And ship durability plus 10%. Hmm. But what's the maritime? You get naval tradition. Lightship combat ability, which is something we can benefit from quicker. Faster repairs. Naval force limit modifier, 50%? Oh shit, that means we can maybe stand up to Great Britain. Ship cost decrease. Blockade efficiency. Ships can repair when in coastal sea zones. Oh man. Naval and Maritimes are the worst ideas? But if I'm trying to combat against naval power... Okay, well. I mean, I think it's pretty good. I guess you guys don't like Navy stuff. Okay. Mercenary cost, core creation cost, mercenary maintenance. Nope. So then we're back to expansion. Or economic. Uh, hmm. National manpower modifier. More diplomats. Pom poms for the navy. <laughs> Indeed, all the pom poms. Best navy idea is trade. Global trade power, more merchants, trade range, trade efficiency, merchants, trade steering, caravan power. How is that the best navy? You know what, I think we'll just get um, expansion. Oh, okay, ship only time minus 10%, that's cool. More relations and global trade power. Yeah, I'll just get expansion ideas. There we go. It's done. Now, for reforming the government. Constitutional monarchy. Oh, that takes 100 admin, though. So, we are currently at the despotic monarchy, which gives us national unrest. Monthly autonomy change. Constitutional, more legitimacy. A more autonomy change. Yep. Years of separatism. Can't do it yet. But you're saying we should go for this, the constitutional monarchy. When we can. It allows you to fund a huge navy because ship modifiers don't matter. Oh, really? Oh, because of all the money you're getting from trade?
Okay. Whew, look at that economy, 25. Armies for days. Let those build. Ah, our war galleons. Okay. Let's get them to dock at Archports. Where do you have one there, right? Okay. Uh, send one there. I need to make sure that all of our little ships that are out and about are merged. Dock and arch ports. Game one more cancelism. Yep. Decide to play another custom nation after this. Try out the Dutch Republic government type. Are they focused on trade? What accent do they have in Chillport? Probably Norwegian. Is a cooler looking battle system? Yeah, I would too. I would like that a lot. A lot. Alright, so we have five galleons. Oh, six. What are you doing over there? And right now, that is costing us 1.91 ducats a month due to the force limit being over. The thing is, like, I can disband all these cogs. You know what? I may do that because the cogs are so old in terms of transport anyway. Like, really old, right? Because right now we're on these Chabex, or no, sorry, Merchantmans, which have 14 units of transport, which is better. They have eight cannons, five, what is that, movement? So yeah, you know, let's just disband this merch, this uh, transport fleet. I'll save us a little bit of money, and we don't need them. It's a hundred dollars for this game and all the DLC. Uh, yeah, I mean, when it was on sale, it was about sixty, I think, for all the important DLC in the main game. That's why I picked it up during the sale. Ooh, Russia's at war against Uzbek. Uh, Uzbek is really small, though. They're not gonna last. And Kiva, who's also small. Hmm. Oh yeah, that's true, Rose. If you want to play all the DLC stuff, yeah, all you need is the base game and then play with someone who has it all, like me. Um, I'll be right back, everybody.
Is the chat arguing over which one of these are better? I like them all. And when put together, they're even better. Okay. Let's get back into the game. There it is. Uh, so yeah, declaring against Russia would be kind of cool. How are the Ottomans doing? Are they still in a war? They're not. Would they join a war? They would, if promised territorial gains. But the thing is... Wait a minute, Russia... Russia's not allied with Great Britain anymore? What? They have a truce with Great Britain until 79. The alliance was broken. Oh, shit. This is the time. This is the place. We, the war against Russia starts, I think. This is what we've been waiting for. The Navy sucks. Don't need to worry about that. What about the military? Twenty-six thousand. Forty-four thousand manpower in the bank. My friends. I think the time is now. Um, Ottomans already have a way into Russian territory, so that's not going to be an issue. We don't need any military access. I, I think the time is now. Kick up army maintenance. Uh, we're going to make sure that the forts near Russia are all on. Well, actually, this one is good enough. Uh, why not, not? We can turn that off. Oh, that is off. Okay. But yeah, I think that the time is now. Where's the Russian fleet? Because they do have one. There it is. What better place than this? What better time than now? Indeed. What's their military tech? 20? We're at 22. You probably don't even need the auto blob. Are you sure? But they make it easier, right? Like, why not? Why not have the Ottomans go in and smack them up? Emperor Lise has looked at his little black book and determined that now is the time. Now he claimed Russia. Lise is on board. Lise is the emperor of Choport, so this definitely must be done. Um, we should send somebody up here. They have two heavy ships, five lights, six transports. Okay, so we'll send our galleons, these little guys. And then we're going to give them some light ship support. Wait, there are war galleons in this trade fleet? The fuck? Uh, thank you for following the channel. Sorry, I just missed your name. Shoot. That should be more than enough, right? And then this fleet can still go and protect trade. So we're going to wheel them around because we're going to destroy their fleet at some point because we're going to take that. Uh, we need to be placed for that too. Where are their forts at? Fort level 2. Fort level 2. Fort level 2, but we can take that immediately. Okay. How are we going to do that? I think we should just start from over here. What's the supply limit? 29? Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Hmm... We're going to do it, but I, I do want to get some more people first. Uh, we rule. Yeah, we do. Yeah, trade fleet. Nice job, trade fleet. 
Nobility gains 20 influence? Oh no. For 15 years? Oh no. Man. The time is slightly later. <laughs> Indeed, sorry. I know uh, we're, we're we're doing it. We're doing it. Okay, it's just problems, man. <sighs> so this. Mm, okay, well, I mean, we can't stop it. But that means a disaster is going to be firing, right? There it is. But, the influence is for 15 years, and this is going to go up plus 4 each month. Oh god, because it's 95%. We're still okay. Because that's go to 100, I'm guessing, right? So we're going to be fine there. Now, how are our armies? 11,000, 4,000... That's a pretty solid army. This one... We're building cav right now that we can put into this army. These were cannons, right? I think we're going to need a little bit more infantry if we can. And then we'll roll around with these two stacks initially. The thing is also our manpower is going to be kind of lessened. Revoke some land from the nobility. Man. That doesn't that doesn't work though. Like I tried that, remember? But I mean I I guess I can do it. They're gonna rise up against me. Oh, wait, they didn't. What? Local unrest. Lose admin power. I guess local unrest. God, man. Now that we can declare war, shit's popping off, man. They rise when loyalty is low. Okay, so there's no chance of... Okay, well then we'll just provoke all this shit. But see, like, last time when we revoked their authority, their actual influence didn't change. So why is it changing now? Huh. Okay, well, crisis diverted. Cool. Go back there. And they're actually losing their wars against Kiva and Uzbek. It looks like they're raising up more armies. Oh, this is going to be great. Maybe we won't need the Ottomans, you're right. They started against Austria. Austria is allied with Hungary, Great Britain, Frankfurt, the Papal States. You know what, Cologne? No. We're going to lose our alliance and take a prestige hit. 
Because I'm just about to attack Russia. I can't afford Great Britain's navies to, to mess me up. I've... Ah, oh, we have so many favors with Cologne. Ah. Oh. Bring in the Ottomans, it raises trust. Okay. Sorry, Cologne. It was fun while lasting, man. I wish we could be friends forever, but, uh, not gonna happen. Good luck, is all I can say. Alright, um, the thing is our manpower is a little low at the point, or at this point. How's Russia doing? Their manpower is really high, their actual forces right now are pretty low. But that's okay. Also, uh, let's try and fabricate some more claims against them. Maybe it'll finish by the time we're done with this war. All right, the time is now. For real this time. Well, I meant on the 9th of December, the time is now. All right, we're going to call in the Ottomans. We're going to have us take... I don't know. Do we have Komagori? No. How about Lagda? Do we have Lagda? Yeah, we do. Alright. War is upon us. War is upon us. Turn that off. Turn that off. Okay. And we need military leaders. Do we want Lise to, to... No, we don't want Lise to leave. We don't risk him dying. Oh, man, that's kind of shitty. Better. Our army composition is... Okay. Alright, let's do this. We'll start with the war score, or the war goal. And then we're going to detach and continue moving on. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I know, Lisa. That's why I put the, the two maneuver people in charge. Because of the reduce of um, attrition, and they also will negate uh, river crossings and things. Our truce with Curland has ended. Well, that's cool. Very cool. And I gotta be a little careful because I'm gonna be splitting up a bit. Throw Dwight into a dungeon? <laughs> oh, what up, Shadow Thing? Welcome. Let's attach enough for a siege and come over here. We're going to take this and destroy their navy. Oh. Um, uh, I wish we had like a morale of armies or something. Plus if I pay for this guy right now, it's going to take up most of the money that we currently have. Uh, the manpower modifier doesn't mean anything right now. We'll hold off. On that. Also, we have two free diplomats. We should probably be doing something with them. What do we want to do? We're already fabricating a claim here. We want to... Man, poor Cologne. I'm so sorry. I don't know. I 
in time, they'll forget that we did this to them. So let's improve relations again. <laughs> when they needed us most. We weren't there. Sorry. My bad, man. My bad. And we'll just send a... Uh, do we need to fabricate any claims, maybe? Yeah, we'll do that instead. My bad. Alright. So we'll start sieging that. Oh, you can't move over there anyway? Okay, well. Just do that then. And here comes the naval battle, which we should win pretty easily. Crushed it. Their fleet's gone. Very good. Uh, this fleet will now go back home, because that's all they were needed for. We will go to Archport, repair, and then send the light ships back on their merry way to protecting trade. Thank you for your assistance. Ah, oh, all these forts are blocking my way. Um... Rejoin your main army, then. I want to try and keep these army compositions relatively close to each other. Can you keep moving? No, uh, you can't move. Again, because of the fort, so you'll move back there. Attrition 3.6, 3.6. Attrition is crazy. Increased manpower cap means increased manpower recovery speed. Oh, it does? Okay. I'm acting like America in the beginning of World War II. Yo, man, sorry we weren't there for Europe in the beginning, man. Our bad, dude. That's the message we sent them. We sent a diplomat like, yo, dude. Our bad, man. Can you forgive us? Alright, then I guess we will get this guy. I didn't know that it was going to increase manpower recovery speed. Which is something we're definitely going to need because we're suffering from attrition. Alright, you uh, head back there. You head... Oh, wait. Sorry, you hit that way. See, I think attrition's gonna be the real killer here. Can they move here? We can. Okay, let's um let's split in half. We'll take the leader down that way. Start staging this place. I don't think I have to worry too much considering that um, Russia's land here is being taken over. I think that means they're not in a position to fight us. Oh, well, they, they have 23,000 soldiers out there. Somewhere. Okay. You said what? Oh, because we're still okay. Um, no. Head that way, I guess. We'll have this group take that when they're done. 